Queen Camilla has presented Charles with an ultimatum, demanding a divorce. It's either Harry and Meghan or me. The Queen consort urges Charles to forbid the ungrateful couple. Despite his anger, King Charles remains defiant and resolute. Greetings everyone, we extend a joyous and heartfelt welcome to the esteemed Princess Diana News Channel. According to reports, King Charles and his beloved wife, Camilla, are said to be facing marital difficulties following a heated dispute concerning Harry and Meghan, the renegade royals. According to reliable palace sources, there were discussions about potentially prohibiting the couple from entering Britain. According to reports, Queen Camilla is. I am exhausted and fed up with Meghan and Harry's ongoing grudge. According to insiders from the King's inner circle, there were attempts to prohibit both individuals, particularly Harry, from visiting his father, aged 74, or staying at any royal premises without prior arrangement. According to a prominent palace courtier, Charles was caught completely off guard. Camilla decided to handle the situation herself. This disagreement ignited their most intense argument ever, causing their marriage to become strained and on the verge of an unimaginable divorce. Camilla's unexpected prohibition occurred following Harry's rejection of his father's peace offering, opting instead to commemorate the late Queen's first anniversary at Balmoral Castle in Scotland. According to the courtier, Harry's claim of being preoccupied enraged Camilla. She harbors no affection for her stepson due to the malicious personal criticisms he includes about her in his published works. Since their departure from palace duties in 2020 and relocation to America, Harry and Meghan's claims of royal racism and cruelty have left a permanent mark that she will never forget. However, prioritizing a sports tournament over Charles and his late grandmother was the final straw in disrespecting them. According to the courtier, in an unexpected confrontation, she criticized Charles for his lack of leadership in addressing the ongoing royal melodrama and expressed her astonishment. The source asserts that there is no doubt that Camilla wields influence from behind the scenes in a position of power. She urged the king to be more courageous, but once he admitted his feelings of guilt for not being a good father to Harry during his childhood, she seized the reins. According to the source, the Sussexes will now have to notify and request accommodation in advance for any future visits, which may cause embarrassment and humble them. The recent royal crisis escalated when Harry arrived in London for the Wellchild Awards, and was unexpectedly denied security and lodging at Windsor Castle on September 7. Since Charles evicted Harry and Meghan from Frogmore Cottage during the summer, Harry has essentially been without a permanent home whenever he visits the UK. However, that's not entirely true as he has more than enough funds to cover the cost of a hotel accommodation. The courtier remarks that the individual should have been aware that a majority of the royal staff would be at Balmoral, attending to Charles, instead of patiently waiting to fulfill their every request. Instead, the king proposed that he accompany him to Scotland, where the queen had passed away, but Harry declined, citing his packed itinerary. According to the courtier's report, he had missed a valuable opportunity by not considering the situation wisely. A majority of individuals would either cancel or reschedule their plans. However, Harry was not inclined to engage in that particular activity. He simply needed to be punctual for the Invictus Games for veterans with disabilities in Dusseldorf. Instead, unbeknownst to anyone, he carefully planned a covert trip to Elizabeth's ultimate resting spot at Windsor, coincidentally captured on film, as revealed by the courtier. Camilla expressed her anger and denounced it as a publicity stunt, according to the courtier's report. It has been mentioned that she is working discreetly to make sure that Charles's reputation isn't overshadowed by Harry and his Hollywood wife's clumsy behavior. According to reports, she confidently pronounced that it was either Harry and Meghan or her, which deeply disturbed the king. Charles has a limited time frame to establish his influence on the monarchy following his mother's record-breaking reign of seven decades. 
However, all the focus appears to be directed towards the conflict between Harry and Meghan, which has caused significant division within the family. Merely removing their HRH status and placing them at the bottom of the royal hierarchy is insufficient. Camilla desires Charles to cut ties with them permanently, but he remains open to reconciliation. Consequently, it is rumored that they are constantly engaged in heated disputes and are even considering divorce, further tarnishing the reputation of the king. According to the source, Camilla has fulfilled her lifelong desire of becoming queen after being Charles's mistress for a significant period of time. However, Harry and his rising Hollywood fame are overshadowing her. She won't find contentment until Charles severs all connections permanently. If he fails to do so, their marriage of 18 years is in jeopardy. Camilla is extremely determined. Frankly, I find it intriguing. Personally, I am skeptical that Charles and Camilla would consider divorcing at present. However, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Feel free to share your opinions on this matter in the comments section below. Now, let's discuss the feedback you provided on my recent video titled, Behind the Scenes with Stormy, Meghan and Harry's Unexpected Consequences Under King Charles's Reign. This is your perspective or opinion that you expressed. Tanya is the author of the initial comment. If he agrees to bring the couple back, I believe it will be his final act, and the people no longer desire him as their king. It's absolutely absurd that he still hasn't come to a conclusion. He faces the dilemma of either bringing his son and his mentally unstable wife back home and giving up his position, or making the wise choice of leaving them where they are and discontinuing financial support. Allow them to reside in a more modest dwelling. They can live comfortably without a large mansion for just the two of them. By choosing to work like average individuals, they can efficiently economize their finances. The workers are experiencing an allergic reaction. Their lazy.it is now the era of King William. He will promptly return them. Meghan, on the bright side, has already been prohibited from entering the UK. Next, Kim also agrees. Tanya, it seems like the majority of us share your perspective. King Charles must be firm when dealing with both of them. Indeed, it is true that Harry and Meghan have no rightful place inhabiting that extravagant McMansion. I agree with your observation that only those two individuals are involved. So, what is the necessity for them to reside in a location with 16 bathrooms? My goodness. In a puzzling turn of events, Swetha Martinson questions why King Charles seems to be accommodating towards Harry while remaining firm with his brother. Contrary to Harry's discussions, Andrew has never broached the topic of the royal family. I understand your perspective. As most of you are aware, I don't particularly hold a fondness for Andrew. Ultimately, you are correct. Andrew consistently showed respect and admiration towards his own family, never once engaging in any negative behavior towards them. I doubt he would ever consider doing so. Next, we are hearing feedback from Helen. Allowing Harry and Meghan to rejoin the royal family would be King Charles's gravest error. His regard for his subjects will dwindle entirely. Big mistake, furthermore, it is worth noting that Harry and Meghan pose a significant threat. Their intention is to cause injury to the potential rulers of tomorrow. Helen, your argument is incredibly valid and compelling. It is imperative for the royal family to constantly remember that Harry and Meghan pose a genuine danger. This situation demands utmost seriousness. They have expressed some truly frightening ideas, which I completely concur with. It would be unwise to simply allow the pair to return. Miami Beach Mama expresses her desire for Camilla to divorce Charles if he chooses to reintegrate these two individuals into the royal family, thereby emphasizing her disapproval of their presence. I comprehend his love for his son, and if he desires to maintain a relationship with him, it would be wiser for him to do so discreetly and privately, somewhere undisclosed until the rest of the family recovers from the pain caused by the betrayal. I strongly believe that this idea has great potential. I believe that the father and son should handle the matter of reconciliation themselves. 
It is not our place to object to that as it does not concern us. However, I concur with your viewpoint that such actions should be conducted in a more discreet manner. This matter should remain private as the public is currently unwilling to embrace Harry's return. Only when Harry and Linda are on the verge of financial difficulty will they even consider reconnecting with the royal family. Despite that, King Charles will still be blamed and there will be a frenzy of attention surrounding the circus. It is best to simply disregard them. It is highly likely that you are correct. While King Charles may find it difficult to forget his son, the rest of us have no trouble moving on from the matter. Finally, it should be noted that Andrew remained faithful to our deceased queen and did not betray his family for financial gain. Harry and Meghan ought to be banished. However, I am unsure which country would be open to accepting them. I strongly doubt that any nation would be willing to accommodate them under the current circumstances. If Charles were to welcome Harry and the woman back in the UK, it would be wise for him to abdicate in favour of William. It is highly likely that the majority of British people hold this viewpoint. Carefulness is crucial for Charles in this situation, as failure to do so could lead to his abdication. During his reign, King George V graciously bestowed the royal lodge onto the Duke and Duchess of York, the esteemed parents of Queen Elizabeth. Following her husband's passing, the Queen Mum resided in that place intermittently. Upon her demise, the 75-year lease was granted to Prince Andrew, who then assumed the position of the Duke of York. Despite his lack of criminal activities, you believe that he should be stripped of his house simply because of your personal dislike towards him? What is the justification for this? Moreover, he also refrains from betraying his family. Harry and him are incomparable. Allow him to reside in his dwelling. I acknowledge and appreciate the validity of your perspective. Allow me to provide some context for my perspective. It was King Charles who expressed his desire to streamline the monarchy's size. It is rumored that the monarchy is under pressure to reduce expenses due to the current financial challenges faced by many British citizens. Despite Andrew not being convicted of any crimes, it would be inaccurate to label him as completely blameless. He has engaged in numerous actions that have brought disgrace upon his family. Therefore, I can understand the logic behind placing him in a slightly less luxurious location. Honestly, I understand your argument that he is already a resident, thus it would be better to allow him to remain. However, the most recent information suggests that William and Catherine are under consideration to receive Royal Lodge. I believe that a residence of such grandeur and magnificence would be more suitable for the aspiring monarchs. Andrew and Sarah would have the opportunity to relocate to a slightly smaller and more humble living space. We greatly appreciate your continual support and input. I am extremely delighted to share this information with you. The duration of this video has concluded, however, rest assured that I shall return for additional content. Please remember to click the thumbs up and subscribe to Princess Diana News for updates on more videos. Farewell, and I will return to witness your presence in upcoming videos shortly.